Welcome to TechUV.com, your solution providers. This is Abhishek and today we're going to be creating artificial light in Photoshop. Let's jump right in. So we're going to do this by using polygonal lasso tool right here. Go adjustment layer for this picture in order to create a spotlight on this person. As you can see the light source appears to be from the top right area of this picture from here and so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a polygonal tool around this person now first the most outermost layer and then increase to, towards the innermost layers and give this picture an effect that the, this person is actually in a spotlight and artificial light is being spotted on this person from this top right area of the picture so what we're going to do is choose a spot to begin with as you can see the shadow appears to be extended until this area and this area so we're gonna have to make sure that all this area is covered in our outermost layer let's choose a reference point and then draw the outermost layer covering all the required portions of the image as you can see light appears to be appearing in this portion too so we're gonna have to cover all this image okay so maybe a little top okay that's look good and now what we need to do is we're gonna grab a curve adjustment layer from the top bottom panel and increase the curve towards something that seems natural for the outermost layer of the light because the innermost layer of the light is gonna be brighter than the outermost layer so we have to make sure that we can always change this by double click on this uh, adjustment layer option here and then what we're going to do is we're going to give this outer line a blur because that obviously doesn't seem not, uh, natural so we're going to go to filter sorry we're going to go to filter we're going to go to filter and then choose blur and gaussian blur now we're gonna decide the radius according to this picture as you can see this is the zero radius and then we're gonna increase radius to something that looks natural for a normal image I think around 30 is good it depends on the particular image that you're editing so just make sure that the outline of the picture is not pretty dark and intense and that should do it as you can see that gives a pretty great outer hue to our picture now we're gonna add another curve adjustment uh, first we're gonna select an inward layer like this and select inner parts of the image I think that should do it and then again we're gonna grab a curve adjustment layer and increase the opacity to a little bit brighter this time because it's the inner, uh, inner layer so it's gonna have higher intensity of light I think that's good and then again we're gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur and actually this time we're gonna increase the blur to a little more and then we will look okay as you can see that looks pretty good but the innermost part of the image has still brighter intensity of light so we're gonna grab one more layer this time and cover the innermost part of the picture right here and once again grab the curve adjustment layer increase it a little bit and then again go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and I think increase it towards 60 okay and click OK as you can see that gives a pretty good appearance to our picture but one more thing that we want to do is give this picture a foggy uh, appearance so that it looks like that light particle is being dissipated by something in the air for that we're gonna grab a new layer and go to curve adjustment layer and increase the curve from the bottom here as you can see that gives us our hueish appearance and then we don't want this appearance uh, to be in the whole picture that's why we're gonna apply a layer mask by pressing ctrl i and take our brush tool and paint white over this 
area of the picture that the light is falling on. You can decrease the flow a little bit and the opacity if you think just to make sure it looks natural. You can always alt click on your layer mask to see what your layer mask looks like. And you can see the outermost layer and then the innermost layer decreasing in width. That's the most of it. That's how we create artificial light in Photoshop by using curve adjustment layer and polygonal lasso tool. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.